Um, our cookhouse is now ready. We'll tell them we want soup. So yeah, five rations from two raw food. Um, where do I have people working that I can pull them off? Let's go with there. So they make an absurd amount of food. Um, it is free time right now. I'm just worried people, are they? So they're just hungry, they're not starving. So they aren't going to just eat the raw food yet. So I can wait. Uh, so yeah, our next goal is to start uh, with tech so that we can research the beacon and start scouting missions. Um, a protective mother. A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work, afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. Let her have a day off, and the child won't work for 24 hours, but hope will rise, or not make an exception. Uh, I'm not going to make an exception. It's one thing if the child is actually injured, but I'm not going to give days off just because they don't feel like working. Okay, we've got our workshop ready. Uh, we are going to go with the beacon as we did before. But now I need engineers. Um, where did we have engineers working? In here. So I will pull off five engineers so that we can begin our research. Into the beacon. So right now it's a bit stressful of micromanaging because I just don't have enough people, I don't have enough resources. Uh, but it get, will get easier with time. Oh, I also need to get people working the hunter's hut. Erg. Um, we're nearly maxed on coal, so let's grab some people from there. So the hunter's huts go out at night to do their hunting. I don't know why. Um, family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. Um, hopefully we'll get the beacon soon. New laws. Uh, so extended shift is one that I really like. It changes it from a 10 hour day to a 14 hour day um, in whatever buildings you specifically want. It's not nearly as bad as the 24 hour shifts. So people are more tolerant of it. Uh, but no, come back here. But I think given that we've already had a death, I'm gonna go with cemetery just so that there's no disease and hope will rise slightly and discontent will drop. So we'll put this wherever I put that hunter's hut over here uh, just right there and don't question having a cemetery right by the hunters I'm sure they're actually going out to hunt uh, gravely ill so someone has gotten gravely ill that's awful uh, because our current healing posts are not able to deal with uh, gravely ill. So there are, in the Book of Laws, there's radical treatment or sustained life. Radical treatment is amputate, do whatever you need to. Uh, some people will die. Is it? No, that's triage down here somewhere. Uh, this can leave amputees, which amputees can't work, but it can get people back on their feet the 70% that aren't amputated will be healed. Sustain Life says we will... Yeah. Sustain Life says that we will keep people alive in a sick house. They don't, don't get better, but we keep them around. And the hope is that someday we might get the technology to actually heal those people. As it is, we can't sign either of those laws. We still have another 18 hours. Yeah, so cannibalism can be a thing in parts of this game. 
So it's not such a stretch to claim that the hunters are just grabbing the dead people. <laughs> we have four gravely ill? Why? You. You are very low risk of falling ill, but you're also gravely ill. Working in a nice toasty gathering post. Like, it's livable. Very low risk of falling ill. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. We are now full on coal. Uh, I don't want us to just not be gathering. So I'm going to build a resource depot to allow us to store more coal. Uh, yep, only a single person. You'll see that single person is easily keeping up with our food. They produce... Uh, I don't see anywhere that it says. If we go here, and they've got pretty graphs for people who like pretty graphs. Um, so our resources are going down, but they are producing 68 rations by themselves in a day. Which, uh, no... That's our total rations. Either way, a single person can keep up with all of the food gathering for a good long while. Cemetery is established. That causes our discontent to drop dramatically and our hope to rise slightly. Oh no, two people died from what? Lack of treatment. Well, uh, that sucks. Um... We've got a fully stashed, staffed health facility. I could get a second one. Feels like overkill at this stage of the game. Ugh, stop dying. We'll open those up for more coal. Well, there's all of our gravely injured people, so that solved its own problem, I guess. Um, I'm gonna get more hunters. So, our hunters only bring in 15 raw food a day. Um, it's claiming 13. I assume two people are out sick. Um, I need 20 more wood. So, that 15 food is not gonna last for a long period of time. Um, 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 let's see, I could go with the extended shift. Um, no, come back here, you. I think I'm going to go with the fighting arena. The fighting arena is a good way to reduce discontent. You just have to build it around other uh, houses, and then it blows off discontent of the people that are in the living in those houses so the more tightly packed they can be the better so this is one of the buildings that even though it's not a house i'm going to build it in the house area uh, and it will help with discontent uh you guys really need either a gathering poster to get out of the cold that's they're now in very cold so that is very dangerous. Can I build another gathering post? I cannot. Oh, beacon. Beacon is something we really need. Uh, so we'll wait until we can get up to 20 wood. Double rations for the kids. No, that sounds lovely, but I just can't. We only have 21 food and no rations. <laughs> So this uh, gathering post no longer has resources within range, so I can disassemble it and move on to other uh, gathering posts. So you guys work that one. Work there. There is our 20 wood I think I was waiting for, for the beacon. Our beacon also does not need to be heated, so I will put it also in the back ring.
what are temperatures looking like? Ugh, chilly? So one option, what it's saying right here is there's an override that can cause the temperature to raise by a temperature range, uh, which is useful in specific circumstances where you just need it to temporarily raise it. But if the stress gets too high, the generator will, will explode and it can't run for a few days. So I've got to come up with some other option. Uh, heaters would be good. Steam hubs is a different thing. Hunter's gears. Uh, we need more food. This will raise it from 15 to 18 food per hunt. I think on normal difficulty, it raised it to 20. So I'm still not going to be getting as much food, which isn't awesome. Um, but I think that's where we've got to go because we just don't have enough food for our people. Wait, you think that you're not connected to the road? Cold homes. Ugh. I keep them heated for two days. I don't have a means of doing this at the moment. So, sorry, I can't address that. I could raise the heat beacons build. Yay. So, oh, good cutscene. Oh, I paused it at just the wrong time. Okay, so this is the other part of the game where we have to send scouts out to look for other people and other supplies. So now that we have can scout the Frostlands, we need to work on that. Uh, and that is a top priority. We need 40 more wood, ugh. But that will be a huge priority. Um. Yeah. Yep, I know we're ready to search. Uh, what are we researching? Uh, currently nothing because it's nighttime. Sorry, I need research to keep going. <laughs> it's a bit dangerous to keep getting discontent high. Oh, and I'm going to have to open up another medical post. I can't have another dozen people die off. So uh, we can't fit them here. That space just isn't big enough. Um, cool, cool, cool. They're not gravely ill yet. And the numbers are slowly falling. Okay. We've got our hunter's gear, so that's good. We need more wood. Uh, I could go faster gathering, which gets us gathering quicker. And I think I'm going to go that route. The sooner we can get rid of the gathering post and work on other things, the better. But it is, uh, I'd rather get sawmills so I can just start cutting down the wood and not have to worry about what will happen when we run out of resources. Uh, so this gathering post is now empty. So we'll have them dismantle it. We've got our 40 wood, so I can create a scout team now. So it wants me to go to the Lost Expedition. That's where our people are, but I don't think we're in a position where we can deal with those people. So instead, I'm going to go to the crash site for resources, I believe. So several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. 
They're probably our machines, let's hope so. We had to leave a number of supplies in them after the crash. So our people are going to head to the crash site, hopefully find some resources that we can bring back, and hopefully get us better prepared for if we find survivors. Uh, we can sign a new law. Um, pub is a good way of getting discontent to go down and hope to rise. So, even in this harsh new world, people still need to raise their spirits after work in good company with a stiff drink in hand. Uh, yeah, we're going to sign the public house. I then have to build one within four days, otherwise the people will get upset for a promise broken. But that will help us with our discontent and hope. Uh, let's staff it. And discontent, we can see, has gone down a little. Hope has gone up a bit. And that will continue to tick over time. Oh, I still need to build those fighting arenas. Uh, 15 wood. Okay. Need to keep that in mind. Oh, we're getting so many sick and hungry. So they've just reached the crash site. Uh, so if we explore, there are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow, be behind the wrecks we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a sti single frozen mass as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. And this has shown us a new site that we can explore as well as giving us 44 more rations and 161 wood. Those supplies don't immediately come back to our camp. They are sitting here with our scouts. So until our scouts return to the city, we don't get them. So I'm going to send the scouts back so that we have that influx of wood and food, which we desperately need. We've now got our faster gathering. I think I'm gonna go Uh, with heaters? Yeah, I gotta go with heaters. Some of these locations are colder than I would like. Yeah, that's actual cold. Uh, another gathering post was depleted. Is that you? Yeah. So we'll scrap you. I really need that sawmill. Um... Are we out of wood? Ugh, okay, those guys have got to get here. We are now out of available wood to just pick up off the ground. Uh, yeah, promises, promises. Uh, I promise I will build this fighting arena. There's just always more important things. Um. <laughs> but sure, we'll build it. It will be out in the cold, which is awesome and great. New Book of Laws. So, because we have a public house, we can now sign Moonshine. And Moonshine lowers discontent with every meal. And in addition, we can put the moon sign with Moonshine with Soup to cause discontent to drop even more. So that's one of the benefits of choosing Soup earlier, is now our Moonshine makes it better. So I'm going to sign Moonshine to again start pulling down some of that. Are you just unwilling to work because it's cold? Come on. You weakling? Our people are starving. Ah, they're hungry. They're not starving yet. Um, did I... Are we still researching heaters? We are. Okay. Uh, more sick beds needed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sure. I do need to open a new medical post, so let's promise to do that. It's not great, but I'll make it work. Um, let's make sure I've got our spacing right. Actually, it looks like I do. So, 
We'll go with... Do I? No. So we've got there to there. No, this road is in the wrong place. Ugh. Whatever. Maybe we'll go along this way. And it seems like it's lined up in this direction. Whatever. Medical post behind the other medical post. Fighting arena is built, so hope rises. Discontent rose again. Bad health care, bad food, people are hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, moonshine doesn't help with rations if people aren't eating rations. Oh no! Raw food was just suddenly dropping. Are people eating just the raw food? Alright, you guys need to work 24 hours. I super, super, super need those heaters. So, this is what happens when you fail. Um, people are extremely discontent with your rule. A revolt could break out against you any minute. What should we do? We must hold on for a couple more days. I have two days to bring down discontent. Wow, that skyrocketed. Uh, no, I... Uh, I can't uh. <laughs> so this man won't work for 24 hours if I let him rest discontent will rise slightly or I can tell him to get back to work discontent will rise even farther uh, but this is our research research which is researching the heaters that would make people happy so do I have him get back to work to try and get the heaters to make everyone happy, or do I give him time to rest, slowing down our heaters? Time to sing the so Doom song? Probably. Uh, I don't know. Thought I could do this. I still think I might be able to. I'm going to let him rest. I can't let discontent go up too high. I still got the other four people working. And hopefully we get our heaters soon. Yeah, so I've made that... Uh, oh! Temperatures are rising! Yes! Should have probably watched that before I freaked out about... So, I've managed to placate our people. Not that I did anything, but the temperature just randomly went up. And now the people are happier. <laughs> uh, so it went up by one step. But we now have heaters. So that's good. I desperately need sawmills because I have no other way of getting wood. Um, and we will turn on heaters in the cookhouse because I need you guys making food. I don't know if that's people eating raw food or... if they're making meals out of it. Hopefully making meals. So... <laughs> the last expedition. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city, which we will do. So we can send the survivors to the city on our own, or on their own, and some of them will die on the way, or we can escort them. Uh, we enter the camp appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we did begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. So we're going to be getting four children, ten engineers, and twenty-two uh, workers. And I guess I should mention, because I don't think I have yet, that the term engineer kind of means skilled labor. They're the people that work the workshops as well as the medical posts. So, engineer is a strange choice, but there we go. So, our hunger is mostly going away, and we have some rations now, so we've taken care of that. Discontent has dropped dr drastically, probably because they've just had a bunch of moonshine, uh, and we're good. Yeah. 
People from our convoy, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. So that's our next major goal, is to find the other settlements that should be dotted around the Frostlands. Uh, meanwhile, we need to go back out and look. Um, let's see. I do have a cheat sheet, so I know kind of what's coming in these various locations. Um, we will go to the sturdy shelter. Uh, normally, it's just a big surprise of what you're going to find when you get there. But I didn't want to make even more mistakes than I could while playing hard. So, yeah, our goal is to find other survivors out there. Uh, big worry. We now have 31 homeless, a lot more hungry, and a lot more sick because of that influx. Um, yeah. So we need to certainly deal with our 31 new homeless. I'm going to put them near this. Uh, fighting arena so that that will help with their discontent and with that so yeah we don't need all those people anymore there but we don't have a ton of work opportunities available let's get some more hunters huts because we have a lot of people not working Food for overtime work. No, uh, we could do that, which would raise our hope, but we just don't have the food. Okay, sawmills are researched. Now we can start getting our own res resources rather than just picking them off the ground. Um, that seems like a good spot. Oh, and more research. Let's go with... I think I'm going to go up the resource, or the research tree. So in order to get these lower levels, we have to start researching the various tech trees. Uh, no, since we're waiting on wood anyway, before we can go up, I'm going to get steam hubs. They will be useful. So steam hubs are the main thing that's useful for... Uh, being able to turn on and off temperature zones outside of the center ring at different times. See you, Jarenda. 